This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome, hi viewers. Today in this video, we will discuss one more program of chapter of program and file handling. The question is, create a program that is used for the conversion of temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit scale with the help of def fn function. So we will type a program in the ID. So let's switch to the ID of GW Basic Programming Language. Here we are, viewers. Here we are in the editor of GW Basic, and we are actually asked to use def fn function. We will develop a user-defined function which will calculate the conversion of the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So in line 10, we will type CLS to clear the contents of the screen. Line 20, we will type def f f and f argument c equal to 9 divided by 5 into c plus 32 which is basically a conversion formula which will actually convert the Celsius to Fahrenheit so this is actually the right hand side and this is, is an equal to symbol used as an assignment operator and this is the left hand side this whole formula is actually assigned to the left hand side so def is actually used to define the function, f and f is the name of the function, and c is used in an argument. In line 30, we'll type input temperature in Celsius scale equal to double quotes close comma c so this input statement is going to take the input from the user which will store in the numeric variable named c line 40 print statement is used to display the temperature in Fahrenheit temperature in Fahrenheit comma F and F is the name of the program because DAF is actually a reserver which is used to actually define the function and F and F is the name of the function so we will actually use the actual function name which is F and F and, and pass the argument on which the function will perform which is C the magic variable which is used to take the input from the user in Celsius line 50 we will type E in the end then we will press F4 key to save this program and then type the name of the function def cell dot bs now press the f2 key and I'll, I'm asked to give the input of temperature in Celsius scale so I'm gonna type like uh, 37 or I can type just 100 so you can see the temperature in Fahrenheit is 212. So you can see there's an extra margin space. We can reduce it by using the list statement. We can find that there is a comma used in this after the double after the double code. So we can reduce the margin, the extra space by editing by using the edit command and type the line number 40. And here we can use semicolon instead of a comma. So you can see less space as compared in compared to the more space used by using the comma before the function name. Now we'll press the F4 key to save the program and then time again the name of the function, name of the program, def cell WES. Press the enter key and then press the F2 key. Now I'm gonna type again 100. I can see a less space as compared to the previous one. So 212 is the actual calculated Fahrenheit of I again run this program and then if I give like 37 is a Celsius, then you can see that 98.6 is the actual human body temperature 37, and the actual Fahrenheit is 98.6, which is the actual, and you can say an ideal body temperature of a human being. So, I'm gonna uh, explain the interpretation of the whole program execution. So, let's switch to the text area. So, here we are in the text area, viewers. Now, I'm gonna interpret the whole execution of the program line by line. So, you can see this is a program. And you can see the screenshot of the program and the output. I have 
given 37 as a Celsius scale temperature and then the program converted it into Fahrenheit and the value you can see there's a difference between both these values because the Fahrenheit is a different scale of temperature and it is actually calculated by using this formula. So I'm gonna interpret this program in line can see how the statement is used to clear the contents of the screen in line 20 def f and f argument c is is actually the definition of the user defined function named fnf having argument enclosed having argument c enclosed in parentheses at the same time assignment at the same time assignment or you can call initialization is being done by using assignment operator equal to symbol according to that the right hand side or you can type the whole right hand side is always assigned and then store to the left and side so here in this program line 20 the formula you can see nine the formula use nine or 5 into 32 plus C into C plus 32 is actually you can type actually used for the conversion of Celsius into Fahrenheit and this formula is actually assigned and then stored to the left hand side user defined function named FNF C where FNF is the name of the function and C is used as an argument which will be passed while using or you can call calling the program calling the function in the program in line 30 input statement is used to take input from the user in numeric from the user which will be stored in numeric variable named C and whatever 
typed enclosed in double quotes used with input statement will be displayed as it is on the screen whereas the numeric variable C is out of the double code so this vari variable is going to store the input given by the user. It can be any number since it is a we didn't mention the data type so by default GW basic takes the data type of the variable as a numeric variable. Now in line 40 print statement is used to display the value of the Fahrenheit scale by using the FNF C function which now contains the formula to convert the Celsius scale to Fahrenheit scale. This process is called calling of the function in the program where we can pass the argument enclosed in parentheses. This argument actually this function fnf actually perform actually performs its calculation on whatever the argument is passed whatever the value is passed to the argument enclosed in parentheses since we actually run this program after its execution and we actually pass 37 so 37 is actually stored in the variable c by using the input statement and in this next very very next line print statement is used and this now c contains the value c and this fnf is actually now used to perform its calculation on the value passed to this variable c as an argument so actually 37 was passed to c so this fnf is now calculates the, the whole conversion formula applied to the value 37 so 37 gives now 98.6 so this function actually return so there are actually two three uh, major uses of a function function is basically defined and then it is initialized and then it calls it is called and then it returns a value so when it is called and passed 37 as c a celsius scale in it as an argument so fnm actually performs its functions and returns the value of fine which is 98.6 so if we discuss this in detail and if i type in the above program we give 37 as value as a value of celsius scale and print statement used to display the output 
by using fnf function which actually performed its function or you can call calculation on 37 passed as an argument to it and then returned value of firm height scale d8.7 which is the actual required output of the program the whole calculation is actually being done in the formula used in line 20 which was 9 over 5 into C plus 30 so in the end in line 50 E and D statement is used to close and the program execution which is actually the last or you can call final statement of any program of basic language so viewers today we discussed and created a program which is actually used to convert the temperature from Celsius scale to Fahrenheit scale by using the DAFFN function which is DAFFN is a function for used for user defined functions so we have actually executed program consists of 50 lines and the program generated the output and we did also discuss the interpretation the whole interpretation of the whole program line by line that how this program is created what is the use and the importance of each and every statement and how the execution is being done and how the program generates the output and display the final eventual output on the screen that's all viewers thanks for watching